Hey guys, this is going to be the first DIY. You're going to need dowels, paint, beads, and yarn. And you can totally skip this first step, just taking the beads and painting them. I would highly recommend just buying black beads, but since I didn't have them, I had to do this. And I just evenly painted each bead and let it dry. Next, I'm taking the dowel that I showed you before and we're gonna create this triangle so our project has something to hang on. And however large you make the yarn, the string, that's how long it's gonna be that hangs on your wall. So I made mine kind of short. Next, I just tied the yarn onto both ends of the dowel, kinda towards the edge, and double knotted them and later just cut off the extra yarn. So next, what I'm doing is creating all of the strings that are going to hang from the dowel. So the middle string, I kind of tried to see where it would be, is going to be your longest string. And each string next to it is going to get shorter and shorter, so the strings on the edge will be your shortest. And since it is seven strings across, you're going to have three on each side of your longest string. So once I got the lengths for the three on the first side, what I did was I took the yarn and measured it to copy the exact length. Do exactly what I did on the opposite side. So this is an overview of what it should look like now. Next, what I did was kind of saw like how they were gonna lay out. And I tried to make the middle longest string as centered as I could. And all I did was double knot each of these onto the dowel. Then all I did was cut off the extra fabric just so it like cleaned it up and it looks really nice in the front from what you see. Next we are gonna apply the beads that we painted before. What I did was just wet the ends of the yarn and twisted it super tight. That helped me a lot because the hole was rather small. <laughs> So this took a long time, to be honest. I was getting really annoyed. I'll show you the placement of how I did them. It's kind of like a triangle. All right, this is gonna be how you create the tassels. You get a piece of cardboard, basically, and you wrap the yarn around about 10 times. That's what I did. And then you cut off that end. Next, you're gonna take a smaller piece of yarn and you're gonna tie it around one end of the yarn, kinda to secure it all together so it doesn't fall out. Pull off the yarn so it's a giant loop and you're just gonna cut that down the center. Next, you're gonna take another piece of yarn and tie it around the top of this bundle you have and it creates a cute little tassel. You're gonna need 10 of these. And I have another room decor DIY. I'm gonna link the video. It kind of explains better detail of how to create the tassel if that was confusing. <laughs> to attach the tassels to the strings, you just kind of create a loop at the very top and slide it through. And then I found where I wanted to place it and then I knotted it there so it would stay totally secure. And here's like a sped up little montage of how I placed all of the tassels.
That's going to be the finished look for DIY number one. I highly recommend trying this one out. It is definitely the easier of the two and it comes out so cute. And you could pick any color tassels or any color theme to match your room. For DIY number two, you will need some dowels, some hoops, or I use key rings, some paint, and yarn. What I did was painted these key rings rose gold. You're going to need a large one and a smaller one. And I also painted the dowel rose gold too. And basically you're going to take the smaller one on top and the larger one on bottom and cut a piece of yarn. You want to loop it. And this is going to be the tricky part. It's the knot you're going to need through the whole video. So watch closely. You take this loop and you pull the under string part through. Did that make sense? No, it didn't. I had to literally Google this loop because it took me forever to figure it out and you use it the entire video. Basically, you pull that and it becomes a nice secure knot. Next, I'm gonna take a smaller string and do the exact same thing. Create this little loop and then tie the end of that one. Then you're gonna take the larger of your two key rings and create this same knot. I did this side view, so hopefully it looks easier this way. I don't know. This is the trickiest part. You're basically gonna pull that loop open from the one we created and loop this one inside it. It's seriously so confusing. There's a tutorial on Pinterest of doing this and I will totally link that down below. It helps out, kind of. You just have to practice. So once that's done, we're gonna do the same thing as the first one and tie the two ends to the dowel. Next, you're gonna create more of these tassels. I took a longer piece of cardboard. You kinda want it a little bit longer than the last one you used. And I tied these around, I think, 14 or 15 times to get, it's like a thick kind of tassel look. We're not making a tassel though. We're basically doing the exact same thing to get it though. You cut again the center. So now you have two dangling ends. It's just this giant loop of strings. What you're gonna do is place it on top of your dowel. And all of the ends of the string, you're gonna pull through this top part. And then you pull the strings down and it creates a knot. And I created, I think it was between seven or eight of these. I just did enough to cover the entire dowel. Next, I hung it up and I began trimming. I just created like this V shape. It reminded me of like a haircut, like it was so much fun. And you want it to be a nice V like that. So that is the finished look for this DIY. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna link my old room decor video down below and also the Pinterest decor video so you can try it yourself. And stay tuned because the next three weeks I have Coachella festival inspired videos coming. So keep an eye out for those. Bye guys.